So I've decided to use some bit of my code knowledge to make some money. You know, like become one of those trading gurus and buy myself a Lambo. Also, I'm being totally sarcastic. Also, I don't know how to drive a car. So let's get back to PineScript. I like this name, PineScript. This language can basically help you create indicators and strategies to help you win at your trades. So what I've done out here is basically I've opened the trading view chart and in the strategy tester, I'm just gonna pick a random strategy. Wow, all these color pluses look like finger painting on this chart. Pretty cool, actually. So let's look at how much money we made on the strategy tester it shows 1.74% of our total capital in a matter of five years. So that makes you really, really poor, poor than a beggar. Let's go to YouTube and check some pine script tutorials. This one is three hours long. I spaced out in between. What are, what are all these things? What are? So I tried a different approach. I came to a Udemy course, which was not three hours long, but 21 hours long. But there must be something great in it because it's what was he doing for 21.5 hours? And after half an hour, I don't even understand what he's saying. It's like French to me. And so I thought the best way to do this would be just ask Chad GPT to teach me. And my favorite prompt for this is I want to use Pareto's 80-20 principle to learn PineScript. What are the core concepts to learn? So I understand a little bit of this where version 5 has to be mentioned before you start writing your code. Then there's indicator which sets the script title visibility on chart and then the strategy for backtesting and trades instead. And there's something called the main build in. I think I'm getting lost again and zoned out. All of this seems like Arabic to me now. Give me a very small lesson to write my first script. It's given me a full script, so we're gonna use that. Okay, so let's go. So I'm gonna first save the script as my first script. That works. I've written first script, but it's okay. It's okay. We can just get over that. Now I don't know what this plot close is. I know indicator. So plot close according to Pine Script is draw a line on the chart that follows the closing price of each candle. So in our code, the plot SMA value color orange and title SMA 14. I think what it would do is basically plot that line which we have to create. So let's just start writing it. So let me just start with the first line, the indicator. The indicator is something which we start with, which established that, hey, we're creating an indicator, an indicator with the awesome name of my script and with the overlay of true. So what overlay does is basically is going to take that little line created and paste it on the chart. And I'm going to add this to the chart now. And there we go. We have plotted uh, a close, a simple close, which is it's just drawn a simple line on the close of each candle. And hey, I can also change the color. Ooh, we are going to be pine script experts and get that Lambo, which we cannot drive. OK, so we have our first line. We got the indicator to show on the chart. Now we just got to take the second line, which is the SMA value. So out here, the thing which I'm going to write is SMA and I'm going to give this variable name basically SMA value and TA dot SMA and I'm going to write close and of course 14 candlesticks average closing price of 14 candlesticks. Now we need to plot this the so plot SMA value color equals color dot orange and I'm going to give it a title that is going to be SMA 14. So I'm going to press on update on chart and there we go. We have an orange line. We I'm so proud of myself. So OK, I know, I know, I know the indicator part. Can you tell me the strategy part? Can we create a simple strategy on this? That's it. So goal is to buy when nine period SMA crosses above 21 period SMA, which is going to be a bullish crossover uh, and sell when it crosses down. That's pretty simple. But why does it say version five? I thought we were working on version six. I'm just going to quickly look that up loud and clear. Pine script version six. All right. So we are going to use this version six. <laughs> Oh, version six script. So the simple SMA crossover strategy and then overlay true. Now I know what is overlay true is basically it's going to plot the indicator. Once it creates, it's going to show the strategy onto our chart. Then I'm going to calculate two SMAs. So for those, I'm going to give variables SMA fast and SMA slow. And I'm going to then give it TA dot SMA close nine and then TA dot SMA close 21. What it simply means is the TA dot SMA is going to calculate the simple moving averages over the closing of nine candles. And in SMA slow, it's going to calculate the simple moving average on the closing of 21 candles. Simple, right? Then we are going to define the crossover condition. So out here, I'm going to type in another variable called long condition. And to hell with typing manually, I changed my mind. I'm just going to cut copy paste it from now on. SMA fast It's going to plot the SMA fast in a color green. And of course, it's going to give it that title. So whenever we click on the input box, 
box, we should get this title and the SMS low is going to be color red and the title is going to be SMA 21. We're going to write our logic for the entry and exit. So let's give the control flow statement, which is going to be the if and else statement. If this happens, that should happen. If that happens, this should happen. So if long condition strategy dot entry is going to be, we're first going to write by and then we're going to write strategy long. Okay, strategy dot entry and strategy dot long. Are they some kind of keywords? Are, are, are they syntax? Are like already built in things? Are they like already like, good Lord, my typing sucks. Okay, so both strategy dot entry and strategy dot dot long are built in keywords. So by is basically the ID. Now I'm clear it's not like the title it's the ID and strategy dot long is the direction to go long which is to buy. So yeah, I think we've pretty much written our script. The only thing which I've removed out here is I don't want it to go short. It's only like a long trade, but hey, <laughs> I go long, but when is it going to close the position? So I need to define that kind of logic as well. I need to design my exit strategy. I have created a long only trade. Now I want to exit, like take me out. I think that should be it. Here is the code. So I'm just going to paste my code, paste. Tell me the answer, okay? waiting, waiting, waiting forever, turning into a skeleton. 23 seconds. You took 23 seconds, chat GPT. So if long strategy buy and if exit condition is true, then strategy dot close buy. Okay. So that means it's just going to close the strategy, I guess. What the fuck? So this basically means that once it crosses under, then it's going to trigger that exit order. So take this condition and paste it out here. And also let me just take this little exit condition condition the in, and write it in our control flow statement. So now it simply means that when it crosses over, take the long position and when it crosses under exit it. So okay, now how do I test this? Okay, so you've written your first strategy. Now let's open pine editor on trading view, click add to okay, I have to update this on chart first. Okay, there's an error. Oh, because we have written Sam fast. Who's Sam now? SMA fast. I'm just going to correct that quickly. Update this on chart. And there we go. It's it's come on the strategy tester. Woohoo. Okay, so from July 3rd to July 14th. Um, it's a two year thing. And in two years, you've taken only one trade. Why? And the total PNL is in losses. So in two years, I did nothing. And okay, I've taken one trade, I get it. But why does it show on chart that I've bought it twice? So that should be two trades, right? Okay, how do I figure this thing out? When in doubt, ask GPT. On my chart, there were two trades, but only one was executed. Why? Okay, so mostly only one trade was executed because your strategy logic does not open a new trade unless the previous one is fully closed. Ah, okay, I get it. So just one trade is executed and then closed, which is a one full trade. And now the second trade which we have is still open. It's still going on. And that's why it's not logged in. So I get it. So we have created our first strategy, even though it's a loss making shitty strategy, which will never make us rich. So hope you guys like the video. I was actually trying to make a point that active learning is way much more better than actually sitting through tutorials, which is the reactive learning 20 hours of tutorial, just play with it. And I think there's much more learning which we can do just having fun.